configurations further down are the options and the configurations of Digiford. Generally, with the enterprise version, you can send you know every three months a periodic email based on how well your server is operating, um, you know, and you can email it to a particular group, like so, the SMS or monitoring group or whoever you want to be notified. Further down, you have what we call the TCP communication. So if you have multiple Digiford servers on one site, then you can have multiple ports so that you can access all of them from different areas and locations through the internet or uh, through the iPad or iPhone version. Limit the number of connections with the server. So if you want to be careful and you know um, if if uh, you have a very big site that has m many many uh, users, you probably want to limit the amount of uh, connections. Okay. Percentage of free disk space. Uh, this is must reserve upon yep. So you can uh, preserve a total amount, you know, two percent or five percent, and then once the Digifort server reaches that, it will start writing over it and will not allow the recording to write over it. So further up here, master and slave. So now Digifort also have what we call a master and a slave uh, server configuration. So if we have, uh, for example, a site that has multiple servers, instead of going through and setting up a username and password for every single Digifort server and duplicating all the information across, you just set up the master server that has all the usernames, all the passwords, all the authentications, all the maps, and all the configurations. And then when you enroll a new server, you would create it as a slave, and then it just copies all the usernames and so forth, all from the master server. Multicast. Multicast is also supported in the Digifort, so the switches do more of the uh, relaying of all the um, uh, data, your footage, sorry, your uh, streaming database. You can also back up your, um, uh, or activate a uh, backup of your database, so you can have a backup of it. Okay, yeah, SMTP. If you want to set up email, so you can also set up email notification using your provider, ISP provider. Disk limit, so if you have a corporate network that you're currently recording on, um, it might be a NAS unit or something of some kind. If you're recording to a NAS unit, you've also got the flexibility to limit the amount of space that you're using. So you might have a, I don't know, 200 terabyte storage array, and your corporate network is using 100 terabytes. So that means that you've got another 100 for yourself. So then in here, you can limit the amount of storage. So based on that, you know, my NAS drive and only supply 100 terabytes, well, this is in megabytes, but 100 terabytes of data for me to record on my um, NAS. Do not allow anything else. And these are my network units that I can map, whether it be a network attached storage or another storage server. It's up to you what you choose.